I hope you guys are all having an effective day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad serpentine belt. Some people call this an alternator belt, fan belt, or an accessory drive belt. The purpose of the serpentine belt is to keep the engine's accessory pulleys connected. When the engine's turned on, the crankshaft pulley rotates the serpentine belt, which in turn rotates the alternator, AC compressor, power steering pump, and in some cars, the water pump. The average life expectancy of a serpentine belt should last up to 100,000 miles. Here's the location on a Suzuki Forenza. Here's the location on a Toyota Camry. And here's the location on a Ford Fusion. The first symptom of a bad serpentine belt is having a squeaky noise. The reason for this could be due to a stretched out belt making it slip across the pulleys creating a squeaky noise. If you replace the belt and it still squeaks, it could be the belt itself or the noise is coming from one of the pulleys. A quick tip to help you determine if it's the belt or the pulleys is to spray water on the threads on the belt while the car's running. If the squeaking goes away, then it's probably time for a new belt. The second symptom is noticing cracking on the belt. This is a definite sign your belt should be replaced. The reason why this happens is through normal use of the engine. Things that can accelerate the wear are oil leaks, engine heat, and debris. The third symptom could be a torn belt. If you neglect the signs of noise and cracking, it will eventually start ripping apart piece by piece. The fourth symptom that I hope doesn't happen to anyone is a snapped belt. When this happens, you'll lose air conditioning, the alternator will stop charging the battery, so your runtime will depend on how long it takes for the battery to drain. And if your power steering pump is ran by the serpentine belt, your power steering will get super tight. Also, in some cars, your water pump is ran by the belt, so if it stops, you'll notice the engine temperature gauge rise up very quickly, leading to further engine problems. This leads me to the fifth symptom, warning lights. If your belt breaks, you should see a battery light, alt light, or a gen light. The reason for this is because the charging system isn't working due to the alternator not turning. Good deal. We just learned symptoms of a bad serpentine belt. I hope you guys gained value from this video. If you did, please do me the favor, like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.